Hey, just say, ooh, it feels like a party every day. Hey, just say. She doesn't poop on the floor. It's fine with me. Wait, don't you want to ask me any more questions? Do you poop on the floor? No. Congratulations, you just made the first cut. Mr. Kipling, you are getting a timeout and no TV for a week. I think you are being very harsh. Mr. Kipling bade you a visit because he gets bored in his cage. Plus, he's a cuddler. <laughs> oh, that explains the claw marks on my calves. Jesse, I have a huge problem. I love my photography class. Okay, I know I'm new at this whole nanny thing, but not seeing the problem. <laughs> the problem is, I got the world's laziest partner for this assignment. You call it lazy, I call it selective participation. <laughs> a rare and mysterious object rumored to have magical powers. Like what? The possibilities are limitless. Maybe it can even make your hair grow back. It's <laughs> ridiculous. More ridiculous than joining the hair club for butlers. It's a professional networking organization. Whatever you do, do not touch this. I'm going to walk Mrs. Kipling to help her pass those golf balls. <laughs> Come on, Mrs. Kipling. Finally got Zuri tucked in bed after prying her nails out of my neck. Have you ever tried to tuck in a wolverine? What are you doing? Rubbing a magic bell on my head to grow hair, duh. <laughs> Did you rub it on your back? Because I can see small forest creeping up your neck. Trying to grow it out so I can do a comb up and over. Sup, grown up? Zuri, I cannot believe you're out of bed again. I can't believe you thought that tuck would hold me. <laughs> Let's watch TV. I've got Reba Fever and Country Countdown Secure. My report is due tomorrow. What? I cannot believe you waited until the last minute again. Social studies is hard. When I first signed up, I thought I'd be mostly social. But it turns out to be mostly studies. You're playing a ghost. How hard is it to walk on stage and yell boo? Zuri, bed, now. Jesse, no, catch me. Wait. <laughs> Zuri, get back here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I was thinking, how can I make all of our meals truly great? Hire someone else to cook for us? I tried. The giant lizard was a deal breaker. We have a great birthday surprise for you. You're moving back to Texas and taking the kids with you? <laughs> surprise, birthday boy! <laughs> Mom, what are you doing here? Wondering why you're still not married. <laughs> and we're off. Hi, Mrs. Winkle. I'm Jesse. Hi. So nice to meet you. <laughs> you have this little angel to thank for me being here. Thanks, Jesse. How's my little Bertuchka? Bertuchka? I'm fine, Mamuchka. Oh. Mama, will you still help me pick up my outfits when you're super famous? Of course. Just make an appointment through my assistant. Um, Jesse, can Emma squeeze me in for a brunch? Okay, for the last time, I'm not Emma's assistant. By the way, you have school in five minutes and a wax at four. Bertram, we're out of milk and eggs and food. Our refrigerator is emptier than Ravi's trophy case. I can't go shopping in this weather. It's sunny and 72 degrees. Which means an 80% chance of having to smile at people. No, thank you. What was me? Next week, I must run the 50-yard dash which is cruel, pointless, and flies in the face of the universally accepted metric system. Speaking of cruel and pointless, I have a science project due. Hey, let's just cut school. I mean... 
more sick. <coughs> Guys, come on. You can't just run away from something because you don't want to do it. Says the girl who ran away from her own wedding. I didn't run. I couldn't with the high heels on the train. Have you heard from Brooks since the non-wedding? Not a word, but I'd be happy to hear from him. <laughs> ah, the email from Brooks. Wowzers. Perhaps you can run the 50-yard dash for me. Oh. It is Darla, your stepsister. Oh, ignore. But she's gone from frenemy to family. She is now family. I just don't have time to deal with all of the questions about my husband and my wedding. How long could that take? You have had neither. Darla doesn't know that. You neglected to tell your family that you did not get married? I told them in Morse code. <laughs> that is what you get for throwing me under Zuri's bus of vengeance. Okay, so we're both at fault. But what Zuri doesn't know can't hurt me. Oh, yeah? Uh... How much of that did you hear? Enough that when I get through with you, you're going to be in more pieces than that poster. Robbie, now you no, don't see me. Hey, hey, hey. Are you guys fighting? Yes. You have any weapons? No. Carry on.